Omega Lady Matic presents Leading Women. Her gourmet chocolate is sold in 2,000 stores worldwide, including eight boutiques dedicated to just her brand. Vosges Haute Chocolat. And she's just launched a less expensive, more mainstream sister brand, Wild Ophelia, that's sold in 10,000 grocery stores around the US. To hear her describe her company is to understand she is no ordinary entrepreneur. This is someone who's found her passion. <laughs> Poche is an experiential chocolate storytelling vehicle that's meant to be indulgent and, and sensual and um, opening to the mind. Her experiential chocolate netted a profit of more than $30 million last year, a 50% growth from the year before. This Fortune magazine 40 Under 40, Bon Appetit Food Artisan of the Year and mother to two-and-a-half-year-old Rowan is Katrina Markov. While you can't say that everyone loves chocolate, it's probably fair to say most people like chocolate. Whether you like it or love it, the confection holds a seductive power for this chocolatier. I decided, you know, in the beginning I was going to open people's minds to new ideas. I was going to break down stereotypes through chocolate. The flavours Markov combines will either make your mouth water... This is the new smoke and stout, smoked salt with rogue chocolate ale. ...or leave you confused. And this one is wild Tuscan fennel pollen. It's hand harvested from Italy. And everything we make has guided tasting notes. How you should eat it, close your eyes, take three deep breaths. You know, now be aware of how does it look, what does it smell like, how does it feel. And that kind of stuff is what really engages me deeply in sort of that passion of the experience with chocolate. Her experience with chocolate didn't begin until after she graduated college. She never even liked it as a child. She was a chemistry and psychology major, but in her last semester, she realised cooking was her passion. Three days after getting her diploma, Markov flew to Paris to attend Le Cordon Bleu. It was this amazing experience being 22, however I'm 22, and living in Paris and being in this food mecca. It was there that she says she discovered chocolate at a restaurant in Paris's Place de Vosges, an experience so life-altering that it later inspired the name of her company. When you bit down on this molten explosion of chocolate occurred, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. There's a whole experience with chocolate I don't even know about. Yet it was much later that she would be inspired to start Vosges Haute Chocolat, after a chef who was mentoring her told her to travel, using her palate as her guide. She bounced from country to country for nine months and found herself back in her small apartment kitchen in Dallas, staring at the many exotic spices she'd picked up along the way. And I made a curry and coconut truffle, and I decided that I needed to pay homage to the Naga people and call it Naga. And that's when the epiphany occurred. It's like everything made sense in sort of that moment. There was like this illuminated path that said, just use chocolate as a medium to tell stories. And so that's what I did. She brought her chocolate stories into work at her uncle's mail order business. The first step was convincing people to try her unconventional concoctions. And I, you know, I got this one woman to, to try it. And her face went from sort of disgust and worried to like awe and surprise to look like this, oh my God, this is actually good. In 1998, she moved to Chicago and started selling her chocolates as gifts under the concept travel the world through chocolate. Soon, the high-end department store Neiman Marcus bought her creations, then other stores joined in. A catalogue followed, an online presence, and now her mass-produced line, Wild Ophelia. Okay. Markov's passion for her creation is clear, but there is a business to chocolate. And then um, bacon, bar, is that everything's going fine? I had noticed it was a little crunchy before. In the coming weeks, we'll learn the tough decisions she makes as a CEO. Love that. 
what she looks for when she creates a new flavor combination, and her biggest surprises as her company grew. Presents Leading Women.